Welcome everybody to the video presentation of PLDC assignment presented by third year students of SLIIT. The topic we are going to discuss in this presentation is Java versus C++. First, we are going to talk about what is Java, a high-level programming language which developed by Sun Microsystems. It is an object-oriented language similar to C++ but simplified to eliminate language features that cause common programming errors. The language derives much of its syntax from C and C++ but has a simpler object model and fewer low-level facilities. Java applications are typically compiled to bytecode that can run on any Java virtual machine regardless of computer architecture. Java is a general purpose programming language with a number of features that make the language well suited for use on World Wide Web. What is C++? C++ is a statically typed free-form multi paradigm compiled general purpose programming language. It is regarded as a multi-level language as it comprises a combination of both high-level and low-level language features. This is widely used in the software industry. Some of its application domains include system software, application software, device drivers, embedded software, high performance server and client applications and entertainment software such as video games. Next we will see what are the similarities between Java versus C++. Simple type int double and char. Control structure if else switch y and for. Arithmetic expressions both have a string type C++ string and Java string. Both have classes and main. Comments. There are a surprising number of differences between C++ and Java. These differences are intended to be significant improvements. This section takes you through the important features that make Java distinct from C++. C++ allows both procedural programming 
and object oriented program but java strictly enforces an object oriented programming paradigm everything must be in a class there are no global functions or global data if you want the equivalent of globals make static methods and static data within a class in java static coded strings are automatically converted into string objects there is no independent static character array strings as there is in c or c++ arrays are quite different in java there is a read only length member that tells you how big the array is and run time checking throws an exception if you go out of bounds the garbage collector is a huge improvement over c++ and makes a lot of programming problems simply vanish c++ passes args by value but still can pass by reference with the operator and sign java automatically pass primitives by value and by reference for objects in java all method definitions are defined in the body of the class thus in c++ it would look like all the functions are in line but they are not the char type in c++ is an 8 bit type that maps to the ascii character set the char type in java is a 16 bit type in java all objects of non primitive types can be created only via name there is no equivalent to creating non primitive objects on the stack as in c++ there are wrapper classes for all primitive classes so you can create equivalent heap based objects with new the constant issues in c++ are avoided in java by convention you pass only handles to objects and local copies are never made for you automatically multi threading is a standard feature of the java language there is a thread class that you inherit to create a new thread 